Nothing but folks. This is lesson 22, and it's it's a place where I, I, in the past I, I've been, when well, many years ago, did some interviewing at a place called Malden in Essex, uh, at a pub called the Blue Boar, lovely pub, lovely place, and I, I saw these these boats there at, at, at low tide, and I thought they're they're quite attractive, so I thought I'll, I'll reproduce it for you and we'll paint it together. The colours we've got are, are the, the usual selection, that's the Rossian Roca or Ultramarine, Ultramarine plus Burnt Umber, and then some weak Elizabeth Crimson. So so you remember those now, I'm sure you do. And that's our sketch. It's three, three barges, one slightly behind the other two, and there's a small boat here and a small boat there. And we'll, we'll fill the other bits in as we go along, okay? So let's get painting, shall we? Let's start off with uh, the sky. The sky, most important sky, because it's three quarters of our picture, isn't it? Bit of clean water on there. You can go over the sails because the sails are dark, and they will be, be okay. Now the the the, the holes of the boat I want to keep white or something like that, so so be careful on that bit. Put a bit of sunshine in there. Blue sky, it's got a lovely day. It's going to be a lovely day, I think. Which it is while I'm painting, but uh, that's another story. It's a lovely day. I like to get rid of all this white if I can. You know, the, not the white in the sky, but the white on the painting, so we can see what we're doing. Let's see. That's not a hard edge there. I'll leave that. So I'll look to touch more of that blue down here. That is well, just sculpted that a bit more there. The light's coming from the from the left today, folks. So we'll, we'll see we'll see how we go with that. I know to put some of that pinky stuff in, in the base of the sky. In fact, I might come down here with that stuff, you know. Let's, let's mind the hull for the boat. Got the urge to put some pink stuff down here. I've got a bit of blue down here as well, I think. All working. Perhaps a touch of sunshine as well, down here as well. Be nice, won't it? That's got rid of a lot of the white on the painting, hasn't it? That's lovely, lovely. Right, I just want to take off that, there's a touch of, oops. I've gone over them bolts a little bit here, so I want to take that off if I can. Keep the whiteness there. Right now, in the sky at the top, we've got some really dark cloud. I must get this dark cloud in. Close the top down, bring it towards the impact actually. I don't retain that 
white there. Soften it as we go further into the distance there. I put a bit more, bit more of that dark up the top here. Darken it a bit more. It's the same, same colours, but less water. Darken those corners. That. That's bring that over the top of us, which is quite nice. Be careful now because I'm starting to fiddle. I don't do that. Let's have uh, let's see if we can. Now the light's coming from the left, isn't it? So let's see if we can have a touch of touch of dark or, or shadow, if you like, in this side of the clouds. This will give it a, a more three-dimensional look as opposed to two-dimensional. Just a little touch of colour but it, it, it certainly keeps your painting Looking as though they're actually clouds and not just blobs of yellow. I don't know if you can hear that, but I've got my, my studio door open because it's a gorgeous day. And the biggest, biggest blue bottle you've ever seen has just flown in. It's like a, like a jumbo jet, it is. Well, it sounds like it. It'll go out when it raises no food. Just a touch of that dark down here. Because what's what's in the sky is down below as well, isn't it? Stop fiddling. Now the next thing we've got to do is dry it of course because we want to save some time. Thing we'll do is put some some depth into this. The in the in the distance there, there's a sort of a, some land. So we'll pop some land in. That's using the the, the colour at the top here. That should help us. Just test it on my paper. Too strong. So I'm going to put that put it with that pink, and that, that should make it not as intense. That's better. Right. I'm right handed so I'm starting at this side. And let's uh just a touch of distance there.
and of course we'll, we'll have something to this side as well probably a bit a bit closer to us uh, that's it Be careful when you're doing this because you've got, you've got to leave a gap for the boards to get out, haven't you? Don't uh, don't fill it all in <laughs> or in trouble. Right, that should that should do for that. A bit of more strength in that bottom of that that cliff there. Just a touch. Right, I might you might get a touch of just a touch of reflection in there that may help a touch using the same colours now that's, that's a bit too far away I think right I need to uh, that's a bit wet so I'll Right, I think the next job we'll tattle this this boat, this is it's a barge, and it's I want to push it further back from these two because these two are closer to us and that's set back a bit. So I'm gonna paint this with hardly any colour at all. It's 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 just a subdued subdued colour using the the, the colours we've used already in the sky. Let's 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 see where we're going with that. Make it a bit subdued. So it doesn't jump out, it is. Get the right colour, test it first. A bit more bluer than that. And I'm mixing on my palette. I just have to show you, really, I suppose. See if I can. That's the. I'm not. Somewhere, something like that. But I've got to test it first on my paper. More blue. More blue. Let's try that. Yeah, that's better. I've got, a, I've got a bit left, so there's not there's not a lot to to, to retain here. So this is this is our, our barge set back. Not much detail on this. It's only support support work at this one. This is. This is not the main character. These are the main characters here. In fact, it's so far back that that you'll also get the the sails, the full sails, even looking blue as well. Touch a shadow on this one, just there. That's. I'll, I'll put a touch of reflection in. Just a touch. Something up there like that. That comes up there. And then that one goes from there, like that. Yeah, don't get bogged down with it. I'm saying get, don't get bogged down. I don't put a bit of shadow on that side. So it's not too flat. Just indication of a furled sail there. And put the put the, the hull 
darker at the bottom. Darker, darker if you like. Darken these a bit. That'll do for that one. Right, let's have a look at this. Let's get these, these, these two little ones in. There's a tiny one here. It's, it's, I'll put, put it as a, uh, this sky colour, we've got to put some burnt umber. So I'm going to use some burnt umber on its own for this. Just a touch. You, you don't need a lot. Just a little mix. Let's pop that in. Just a tiny thing. It's, it's just a, it's, it's, it's a filler that one if you like. And there's one here with these two chaps sat in it. I don't know where they've been, but or where they go in. But uh, we better pop them in. I mean that boat a little bit stronger. I'll put some uh, burnt sienna on this. I think. That will, that will reflect in the water a little bit, won't it? And when I put them people in, they're reflecting the water as well. You watch, I'll bend my bottom door, I'll forget to put them people in, and I'll be messing about. Still, we'll see how we go. Right, I think the thing, next thing we can do is these these uh, furl sails here. These are quite, quite close to us, these, and that'll shove that one back. So these want to be uh, uh, that burnt sienna colour. It's, it's, it's a lovely for a furl sail. That or even the colour called the colour called light red, which is more opaque. So you try that one if you if you've got that on your palette. Light red. It's called light red, but it's actually just like the raw, raw burnt sienna. It is. So there we go. This is this this pearl sail. Just going around the the sail, the where it's been tied up to the mast, it's it's curled up. Some down here as well. And go, go down to the down to the deck, and there's, there's probably something on the deck there. But I'll, I'll sort that out later. There's a, there's a tiny one here on this the second boat or the the main boat actually. Just it's, it's filled, and it's, it's the rope's holding it to, to the to the mast. And of course, you're going to get some uh, some of this. Uh, this stuff, aren't you? You're going to get reflections, aren't you? And try and get the reflection directly under the what it's reflecting. Where it'll look weird. This one here, that's so you've got to stop there because there's the reflection of the, the boat there. So start about there on this one. This is only a little, little dodgy one. Right now this one as well, same treatment. Be careful as you loop it round there. And up that other one there. Nice colour this, nice rich and it offsets the blues, it's a warm colour. That's coming down to the deck as well, like that. That's alright, it's a bit flat but I'm going to put a bit of shading in those 
so we get some, I'll put some a bit of dark in, so that's, I'll use some of this, the sky colour, the, the dark at the top there. I'm mixing a touch up there, just a little, small amount. Test it, see if it's alright, that should be alright. Right, well we've, we've got, I think I'll use a smaller brush on this because it's, I don't want to do, do too much on that. So the light's from where? The left, isn't it? The left. So we're going to put some, going to get some darks on the, the right hand side where it's in shade. As it falls. Down to the deck. They'll probably get some darks in here as well. That'll do. And on the other two, it'll be dark, dark there. And then our main sail. Little kill around there like that. Wrap it around the poles a bit there. Right, we haven't reflected that in the water, have we? Could you have told me about that? I'd forgotten it. So let's get that one in. This is this is quite a, a wide one, isn't it? And it's taller than the others. Take it right down to the bottom. And put the darks in as well. That's it. So are the three sails that's reflecting, that's it. Right, are the, the these the holes of these boats now I, I want to keep them pale to give it a bit a nice bit of nice bit of colour. I thought while while I was busy drying there, uh, I'm going to put some of these things in at the top here. These things. Pop them in. Right, so we'll, we'll, we'll pop some of those in. Put a bit of a dark on there. Any dark you've got on the on your palette, just dip in and dip in with your brush. And let's put a bit of a dark on on the edge of edge of this board. This this card we've got cut up. Put that one in just there. How about that? You can't do. You can't. Can't paint them that straight, you know. Bad job. I'm giving all my secrets away. That one there. Oh, and another one. 
It's a little tiny one there at the back, isn't it? Well, I'll we'll do that, that other big one first, this one. That's quite big, that. Let's look at the little length here. I've cut these cards so it's some different lengths. That, that's a better length, that one there, look. So we'll use that one. Any dark on the on your palette. Just paint the edge of it like that. Then pop it on your board, on your painting, I should say. Pop it in a bit more on that one. That's better. Right, this is probably what we're doing. I better do that one as well on that one. I started something here. Nice little short one, this. So I've cut it there, so I'll use that little short one there, see. That'll do for that one there. That's that. There's one there, which is in between. So that would be about that. That. Or maybe that. That's better. So you've got all these options with these bits of card, you see, it's uh, it's useful to, to, to cut your, your credit card up, because you're not spending anything, are you? Can you lock down? Let's get one down there. There. So we're starting to get some twiddly bits here. And also, there's some there's some guy ropes there. I, think, I suppose they call them guy ropes or something. All sorts of ropes. I, I don't know what they call them, but I'm I'm, I'm sure they'll, somebody will tell you. Let's pop them in as well. While we're working. There's a lot of this edge work doing. This. Let's see if we can get that one in. One, another one of them. About there, isn't it? Oh yes, it's a bit longer, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sort that out. And then one just here, which is about that length there. That'll do. I said it's, it's straighter than trying to draw them yourself, these, you know, or paint them yourself. No little ones, I'll, I'll probably put them with, the, with a small brush, unless that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. These fiddly bits take the time, don't they? some of this one as well, blooming uh, I might as well do them while I'm, while I'm working here. Long one for that, there. I suppose the fiddly bits have got to be done, haven't they? Put this one in here. Some little ones there. A bit too long, a bit too short. 
Oh, look at them. We're struggling here with these. I'll tell you what, I'll do them freehand. Show you what, what, what a difference it is. How, how much easier it is with a card. It's a little rigger. I'll finish these off down here. The end signs or flags here, but put 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 them in that. Do a nice bright colour that will lift the painting, won't it? So I'll have one just here. We know the direction of the wind because the, where the flag's going. So I'll put that down here like that. That's that's flicking round there. And one here. Not as bright this be careful here because that, that one is is he's gotta be done as well. This one is further back, so it don't do it as bright, so we'll subdue that a little bit, shall we? In fact, sometimes on these, these this this part of the, the master fair, you, you you get you get some more of this this uh, furl sail. They're, they're like tan sails on these. They're, they're they're quite nice. I might put a bit more sail on there. Let's just a touch up here like this. Right. Keep off that now. Let's get these these the, the ship's hulls done. Now this one I think uh, we'll have it. We say white. I think white. No, because if I want to reflect in the water, I can't do white there, can I? So it has to be a coloured one. So we decided it's a coloured one, and we'll have it as a. Let's see now what colour shall we have? What about a green one for a change? A green hull. So some cadmium yellow. Because there's no green in this painting. Cadmium yellow, a touch of winds of blue, red shade there. Let's have a look at that colour, see if it looks. Boat like. It's not bad. So we're having a green boat. Not very often you get this kind of colour, but I thought we'd have one end, see. Your reflection in the water like that. Of course, that comes up and meets your meets your reflection, doesn't it? There, in the water. That's nice, but it's it's, it's just a plain colour. So I think we ought to put some some dark into it, just to. Uh, it's not it, it's not a, a new boat. It's it's it, it's been used. So we'll, we'll get some dirt on this around the bottom here. We don't want it pristine, do we? And there's something on the deck there, I don't know what it is, but, but, but we better pop it in, haven't we? Uh, put a touch of red in there, is that? Don't know what it is, but it's... I don't know, you, I don't think you reflect it, because it's set in the boat, that, that's... Now that leave that alone. Now then the the other other craft. Now we we we'll, we'll have a stripey one, shall we? I think uh, blue and white would be nice. And then the other side of the the hull. Did you notice a nautical term? The hull. There. Let's just darken some of the some of this. Because I say it's not new, so we need to put some some shading and dark into there just to to dirty it. And 
down at the bottom here, dirty. Where it goes to sea and it gets all, all the rubbish. Mainly on the bottom one. Right, better reflect this in the water, didn't we? Let's have a look at that. Reflections. Let's have to turn that colour out, it's too strong for the, the reflection. Put some dark in that reflection where the boat is dirty down there. Right, I won't put some of this darky stuff in, in this, this other little boat here as well. Right, that's all right. Uh, now we had to put some. Uh, the other oh, well, the little two blokes in, the, in this in this thing. I put that in. Uh, it's Fred. It's Fred. Fred's one. He's got his jumper on. We put Fred in the boat here. I think he's he's, he's rowing back to the. Back to the main boat. Don't forget your reflection, will you? Put some dark air in. Here. And put his mate in. Let's see what colour can we have him. Uh, put him, he's got a, a maroon top on. And he'll show in the boat, in the water as well. Put him ahead on. Just a little head just there, he's leaning forward slightly. Just slightly taller than Fred, so his, his reflection will be taller. Bit of shape on the bottom of that boat there, was dirty. Right. Now, as, as, as I said, these these are all, all afloat now. So, uh, what we need to do is is put some. Uh, I said it was low tide, so we better sort out the low tide bit first. Right. I'm going to put some mud in now. I'm going to mix it first. So we'll get some mud colour. This is my palette. Let's have a look what, what we're going to put in there. I'm going to put, I've got a bit of that stuff left there. I'll, I'll, I might use that. And put some, uh, we'll start off with some burnt sienna. Into there. But the important thing is, always test it before you commit yourself. Then you know you, you you haven't ruined your painting, do you? Let's have a look what that's like. Have a look. Yeah, that'll do to start with. Right, that's our, our, our base colour. We'll, we'll add to it. And uh, see that the, the the tide is is with low tide. The the, the water is. Like 
picking some of this out here. Leave some gaps where there's, there's, there's water, won't you? And I'll mix a bit more of that because I haven't mixed enough. Let's have a dip in there and Makes a touch more for the right hand side. Touch the left into it. Touch that blue, pinch it, touch that. And we'll start it about here. Now you've got to leave some, some water for these chaps to, to roll, roll off, haven't you, to go and get the fish and chips. So don't forget that, don't, don't go too far with your mud. They just hold off for their supper, you know. There'll be havoc if they don't, if you don't get the fish and chips back. Twiddling round here a bit. Right, I'll put some dab on some, put, just make, make it a bit darker this now because it's, it's it's too nice. This is that burnt and bought you in the sky. Have some of that in there that'll, that'll sort it out. Get some darks in there. We're all right, I think. Down here, that's really nice. A bit of dark in there. That'll bring that forward a bit as well. The edge of the mud there. We can play about this for ages, you know. Don't be tempted to put in the, in the, in the low tide, you find all sorts, but don't be tempted to put a supermarket trolley in or anything like that, it spoils it. I know you might find one, but try and resist it. Right, put the dark down here. And the darker I make this foreground here, the more it'll bring it towards me. So let's, let's darken this a bit more. Twiddle on that. See the reflections are still coming through that there. I'll leave that to dry for a bit. I think that's right enough to work on. Yes, uh, the light is coming from the the left, isn't it? So what I really need to do is to put some uh, put some shadows in. That should help our painting. Shadows in. Right, 
right or the light is from the left so the shadows will be on the right hand side of these these hole so that that will be in shade there nice and dark there a bit stronger than that And that will give me the reflection as well, won't it? That makes it stand out better, doesn't it? And of course, this one's the same. This this is this is in shade. This side here. So that one will be like that. And we'll also be like that. See that you've got that one there, look. But see, this the the, the light is there, so you've got that, that band of light. But there's mud across it under reflection, so you don't see it all. But that's the main thing. We've got these these dark, nice darks in there. Uh, that's too far back that one uh, I want to put some some sort of uh, darks on the edge of this mud as well because this this mud will, will will pick up the light as well let's have some darks on here Picks out the, the the edge of the mud. Just flick it along. And I tell you what, you, you can also put in some uh, things like this, which is bits of rock and boulders. That's because it's not a, it's not a lawn. It's not a it's not a smooth sand. It's it's there's bits and pieces, rugged bits like this. detail on the edge of this mud that will bring it forward for you. Twiddly bit there. Little bit up there. Now what about some, what, we ought to have some, somebody waiting with the fish and chips on the boat, didn't we? Right, you've got to put sailors in. Jolly Diak Tar. They always appear to be busy doing something, whatever this. So this bloke, he's, he's, uh, he's got to be similar size to these two, aren't he? So don't make them giants. So this one, he stood here, holding this, holding this, this rope here. I think it's a rope. And he's thinking, oh yes, that's it. I better hold that just in case. I don't want what just in case is, but it's, it's, it's just in case. Yeah, I'm sure it's all right. I'm putting some dark trousers on. Doesn't show the dirt while he's fishing. He's, he's done here breathing himself, like they do. Put his head on. 
you got to be careful. It's, put another one doing something over here. He's got a ooh, a red jumper on. I like a red. He's got a red jumper on. He's uh, he's sat down. This one doing something out over the edge of the edge of the boat there. We're near the edge. I've got to be careful here because I will also get some reflection there, won't I? Just like that. If you're near the edge, you might get him as well. Touch of touch this this blocking brown. It's on the mud, so I've got to be careful. All right. Right, that's the. Oh, we ain't got a head this block, has he? Don't leave him like that. Oh yes, he's you're doing something there. There's two of them there, two of them there. Oh, we need another one somewhere. Oh, what about the supervisor? He's always standing there doing nothing, isn't he? So he can be uh, this side, I think. I put my maroon jacket on this bloke because he's a boss. He's standing here. He's 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 stood up this one, so he's, he'll be similar to this laddie here. So he's stood here waiting for his fish and chips. They're on their way. They're just here, these two lads. I'll put some brown trousers on. There he is. We could put, put him waving to this, this blow with fish and chips. Hey, where's the fish and chips? Come on, be quick. We're starving. I don't want to do any detail on that little boat there. That one's all right. That one's all right in the distance. Uh, I want to light a bit of a dark on this mud somewhere. Let's, let's see what I can do. So just here we can put... Uh, Across here, this, this is foreground here, right? just, just a touch across there like that. And pop in a cloud shadow, like that. And you saw me wet that first, didn't you? Because I don't want a hard edge. Because clouds don't have hard edges. You just darned it up a bit, brought it forward. That, 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 that'll do. And, and I'm starting to look for things to do. And that is the time to stop. Uh, last thing I do is check the sky, see if there's any birds required. No, no, mind you, we're fish and chips about, I'm surprised. No, I'll, I'll leave it for the birds and that's it. And and that, folks, is out, this is Malden in Essex, and uh, these are some barges at rest or low tide. Uh, they just offer the fish and chips. I've enjoyed painting this. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed it with me. And until the next time, it's goodbye. Goodbye, folks.